Beautiful. Hello, hello, everyone. Here's another 360 with Chris Red and myself. Thank you very much for coming. I see we have over 5,000 people fairly quickly. That's good. Uh, as you know, there is a new pop-up, and it's pretty exciting. Red's going to go over that. Pretty self-explanatory, but go over it. And uh, there's a couple things with it that we already have in motion to be looked at. But uh, what I wanted to cover is uh, we had started on our lives, myself and Chris, shining the light on other people, because you know, as you know, this isn't a, about one individual or somebody that maybe has a little bigger platform like myself, uh, where I'm on YouTube all the time or I'm in here, and we want to start. Uh, spotlighting people in on passive that we've met for the last five years, five and a half years for me, uh, that I don't think they get the recognition that they should. Now, we did one, if you go look on the YouTube channel, we did one um, last night at midnight, it, it played, and it, it turned out very, very good. And I want people out there that maybe you're, uh, you feel like we have nothing to offer, for one thing, that's bogus. Everybody has something to offer. And you'll find what it is when you push. Push yourself to go a little farther, and you'll find out what, what you're comfortable doing. You will automatically find a lane for you. It doesn't have to be a YouTube lady or man. It doesn't have, not, there's no, with Unpassive, as big as it is, and a hundred, hundred lane highway that we're on, you can pick anything you want. And excel but i have met so many people especially in the last few months where i'm going to different webinars i'm like oh my gosh they've been in since some before me and i'm like where have you been people need to see different people and when you do that it encourages other people to come out and uh, say something because it's good for you it's good for other founders and let me let me tell you something else that we have to start focusing on. We're going to a new chapter and I'm passing, obviously. But when that happens and they look up, they look up what is on passive they might put. Now, remember, YouTube, like it or don't like it, it is a, a new search engine. Okay, a lot of people go to YouTube to search things just like they would Google. No doubt about it. I've done it because you, you want how to fix something or you need something to look at. You punch it in just like you would in Google. So when they do that and they get to see maybe a video with a teacher or with a policeman or somebody that so that they can see every walks of life are in unpassive. And the really strong part of unpassive that I I want us to emphasize is it's not guru one one percent, one half percent, and then everybody else. Everybody wins. And if you can get that vibe out into the world, it's over. I don't care if you market, you don't market. If if the world knows that they have the same chance that anybody has, it will make a difference that you will not believe. Now, this is my opinion, but I mean it. I've done the other side and what What's really bad for people is you become a number. You're not Marty, you're not Fred, you're not Bob, you're just a number. And the, the industry says bring in enough people because you know that eight out of 10 are going to quit. In fact, nine out of 10 eventually. So you really have to bring in people quick. What kind of industry is that? On positive, it's not that way. You're in. You do what you need to do, and you will win. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you, you have disabilities seen and unseen. It doesn't matter. A passive doesn't care who you are. Now, yeah, I have a big mouth. I'm on there all the time. This is what I do. This is what I did before on passive. I market. I did stuff out in the open. But that's not what makes you who you are on passive. What makes you who you are is who you are, and share that with others. I think it's a a big deal and i think it will make a big difference and if you're somebody out there that you figure i'd like to come on for one thing there's no pressure chris hosts it and goes from people to people and if he doesn't make you feel comfortable nobody's going to 
So come on, don't worry about we're going to put you on the spot. That's not why we're there. We're there to shine the light on you. So that's pretty much all I have right now. Oh, by the way, I sent the link to Mr. Mubara. He has it. If he can come on, I'm sure he will. But let's keep in mind, he it's been kind of quiet for a while. You knew he had the, the thing in his ear and, and that's healing up. But he's really, really busy. In fact, the more we don't see him, probably the more is getting done. So keep that in mind. So if he doesn't show up, okay. If he does, fantastic. But either way, we're going to keep this ball rolling. I'm going to turn it over to Red, and he's going to tell you everything in proper English. Oh, I don't know about proper English, Marty, but I'll give it my best shot. That's for sure, because you know what Chris thinks about us UKans. Not proper English. I know, but anyway, nobody listens to me. I know, no one's listening to us. It doesn't really matter. Okay, guys, welcome uh, to this 360. Nice to be back after a uh, two-week break. Uh, as you well know, we didn't have one last week. And uh, obviously, we are here uh, today to bring you up to date. So as always, I'll do the week in review first and then... We'll just touch on uh, the new pop-up that is there today in your OES, your ecosystem, and just to try and read a little bit between the lines and put it in a bit more of a plain English so that you might understand uh, really uh, what it is all about. But remember, guys, uh, we're not here to interpret what we think uh, with the pop-up. It is there for everybody to read. OK, and you need to make your really your own uh, assumptions of what you feel is. But there is a few technical bits and pieces in there that uh, we would like to address uh, so that everybody is on the same page as far as that is concerned. So anyway, back to the uh, week in review. And we will take you back to last Wednesday, then the 12th of June. Uh, what happened on the 12th of June, as far as on passive is concerned, there was no 360, but we did have an update for your OES on the Android app. And you should now be looking on your Android app at version 1.0.4.14. Uh, to check this, very easy. Uh, open up your OES app on your Android device. Uh, click it, open it. And top left-hand corner, you've got three uh, dashes, click on the dashes and that will bring up a uh, drop down menu. It will say on passive to the right of on passive. It will say V and the number you're looking for 1.0.4.14. If you haven't got one for at the end, then you need to go to your Google Play Store and to update it, then you're on the latest version. Just for your information, if you're on Apple devices, it is 1.0.14. OK, that is the latest version of that as well. Thursday then was a pretty quiet day. Nothing uh, major from our point of view uh, happened uh, as far as on passive is concerned. But on Friday, uh, we had a update on uh, on, uh, on passive YouTube page and also on passive Facebook page. Uh, that was the change of the logo and also the uh, top a header as well. Why? Because it was for Eid al uh, Adha, which is Eid Mubarak. That was all going across the Arabic nations all over the weekend. And that was to bring uh, peace, joy and prosperity to everyone. That was the header for that. Uh, so that was pretty good. So the logo was all changed on that. Uh, and also there was a very good post as well by our own Dr. Turuk with uh, things that were happening over in Egypt. We're not going to touch on those at the moment, uh, but this was obviously it was shared also by our COO, uh, Mohammed Kamal, as well. Uh, if you want to find out what that was, it's very easy. Just uh, find Dr. Turuk on uh, Facebook and you can follow him. And you'll be up to date with everything that he posts as far as what he is doing over in Egypt. But bottom line is it was fantastic news for him. And it's also going to be uh, indirectly fantastic news for On Passive. Saturday uh, was a quiet day as far as On Passive was concerned. Sunday was the Eid Mubarak uh, festivities across the Arabic nations. 
And uh, there was an awful lot of posts all over social media uh, and the official uh, on passive Facebook pages uh, for that celebration. And I hope everybody had a fantastic time celebrating uh, for that festive uh, event that goes on once a year. Uh, Monday the 17th then, uh, we had some updates actually uh, on Monday that this is to do with O-Connect. Now, if you remember over the last, well, couple of weeks, I suppose, and specifically two weeks ago, you would have seen maybe a new person popping up into your speaker area that had just had UN uh, on it. Uh, that little uh, glitch had been fixed. Also, uh, the icons with your badges and etc. in the speaker view, that's all been fixed, we were told, on Monday, plus other things within the chat area of O-Connect, all these little things that you guys reported back to us over the last week, 10 days or so. Uh, we got the OK on Monday that these have all been cleared out now and they should be all working uh, absolutely fine. As always, guys, if you do see anything on O-Connect that's not working as you think is correctly, obviously the uh, success team is your first port of call to uh, advise them on them. If you get no joy for them, then you can come to any of us guys and we will have a look at it and see if it needs escalating. Uh, that was on Monday. Tuesday then, the logo on the official on passive pages went back to the normal one with our normal colours, etc. And also Omedia had a couple of new posts uh, as well yesterday, which were, in my opinion, uh, is one of the places it should be a daily port of call for everybody to go to. Why? Uh, because it gives you all the news that is there out in uh, the ether uh, for AI, the AI industry. It's not about on passive, but it's certainly about AI industry. And it really gives you a fantastic idea of how we in on passive are situated within the things that are going on now in the AI industry. Uh, but one of the really cool things that I love about uh, OImedia.news is that the whole thing is auto-generated using AI. OK, there's not somebody there writing up these posts. It is actually artificial intelligence that is writing these posts and putting it out there for us. Really absolutely cool, ingenious way of getting news out there to the public. And it's going to be an integral part of things that are happening in the future. I am convinced about it as well. And here we are then back around to today, uh, Wednesday the 19th. So what's happened today then? Uh, obviously, we've got 360, which is uh, amazing. But more importantly, you will notice that there is a brand new pop up in your ecosystem. And I want to talk to you a little bit about this uh, pop up you'll see there. Uh, and it is fantastic news for all sorts of reasons. Why? Because it says the new payment processor is now live. Now, let me just uh, expand what we mean by live now. It means that they're there, they're in, uh, they will be able to be used very, very shortly. But more importantly, this is going to be for new people to begin with. Remember what has always been said that things need to be sorted first. OK, I don't want any of you going out there trying to subscribe to anything, trying to activate um, your O Connect or anything until we give you the green light. Remember, we have a backlog that needs to be uh, ad addressed first before we then move on to the next stage. But one thing's for sure, this pop-up means that we are moving very rapidly into this next stage. One of the interesting parts that says there is that card transactions within countries restricted by Office of Foreign Assets Control are currently un unavailable. What does this mean in layman's terms? It means that these are sanctioned programs for countries and the OFAC administer a number of different sanction programs. The sanctions can be either comprehensive or selective, uh, using the blocking of assets and trade restrictions to accomplish foreign policy and national security. The bottom line is 
it's completely out of on passive's hands. OK, what's in place by foreign policy, by governments and by countries is completely out of the hands as far as processing card payments is concerned. Uh, and we have to adhere by those rules and by those regulations uh, that uh, the OFAC have put down. So it was great to see that uh, we are adhering to rules and regulations. But the best news of all is uh, for our Indian brothers and sisters. The UPI payment uh, gateway is on its way. What does this mean for you guys over there? You use it regularly already over in India to pay for so many things. OK, and this is going to make payment for India very, very easy. That's big news for on passive. Why? Because we know that you guys are close to 50 percent of the on passive uh, corporate business. So be ready. OK, and very soon you'll be able to make payments with your UPI using mobile apps. And that is going to be coming soon as well. But also lots of other news, exciting news is going to be coming your way as well. And to make life easier for all of us. Uh, there's two examples at the bottom of the screen of the two uh, of the Visa and the Mastercard, uh, MasterCard payments that you will see on your slips. If you make a payment, OK, it's given the two examples of the names which you will see. So if you see those names, OK, you've been given fair warning that what they're going to be. So we don't need to have any of this hotel in Mexico or anything like that. Uh, straight out into the open before it's even gone live. Uh, we are told what you are going to see on that payment slip uh, for any uh, payments that are coming forwards. And remember, it says in great big bold letters at the bottom, this is only an example. OK, it's not telling you or making any relevance to the amount that will have to be paid. It's an example, guys. OK, so don't stress OK, as always, wait for anything official to come up in that pop up or through uh, our CEO. That's it for me. Back to you, Chris. Wow. Thank you, Red. Thank you, Marty. Uh, I do want to wish a very, very big birthday to James Yates, who is 90 years old. I think he's uh, maybe the one or two person that's in 90. That's 90 years old in the past of James, I'm bringing you out because you uh, make amazing posts. You thank a lot of people. Well, I want to thank you for always being so positive, James. So happy birthday, 90 years young. I hope I make it that far. Um, listen, I don't have a lot to say today because these guys just said it all. Uh, I look at what we have. I listen to everything that Red just said, what Marty just said. I read the pop-up, and I only got two words to say, and that's all I'm saying. It's coming. Get ready. Prepare yourself. Stay excited. We just took a huge step in the process. As said it a month ago or a week ago, or whatever it was, I'm taking charge and I'm going to get it done. And he's getting it done. So it's coming. It's coming. Don't forget that. Stay patient. Stay loyal because I'm passive. And Ash Mafar has been loyal to every one of us. Even though you might not think so, he is working his butt off right now for me, you, and everyone else. And that's my favorite two words in the world. It's coming. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. Wow. That was the quickest I don't have anything in my in your life. You really didn't have anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, thanks. Thanks, guys. Another thing, you know, to emphasize for everyone, we have almost 10,000 people here. Um, when you see something going on, I don't care what it is, from Egypt, from Hyderabad, from Dubai, it's great news, sounds like great news, it is great news, but don't assume that it's directly impacting you directly. It could be indirectly. It's good for the company because it's a foundation type of thing where you build the foundation stronger and stronger and stronger. I know some people hear something and they've got this crazy spin thing where, oh my God, he just said they painted the building. I'm getting 10 grand. No, no, just stay cool. When, when something is directed to founders, 
It will be in the OES update, like the one that was there last night or this morning, powerful. We know that for that to be in place, what was posted, there's other things around it that are going to be coming very, very soon, I believe. But let's just wait and see. Uh, we know, all of us should know. If we don't know, shame on you. Ask. Nobody wants to pay you more than ask. No one. Because that starts the ball. He cleans the slate. He can turn on everything. People come in, customers start buying no connect. They're going to be impressed. Trust me. And if everything in Unpassive is, is at the level of uh, O-Connect, it's lights out. We're, gonna, we're all going to do extremely well. Trust me. There's nothing compared to O-Connect. And as said, we're even going to get better than that. So what else can we say? Uh, I don't have anything else. This is pretty quick 360. Red does. And if he says something, I might have something after that. But go ahead, Red. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, your OES is concerned at the moment and the profile area and addresses uh, and also forms as far as uh, payments, etc. Some of you have been nosy. You've been clicking lots of buttons. Okay. The company know that there is um, uh, well, well, we, we've given already given back that there's certain areas that you can't proceed past. Now, they know about it. And obviously, as soon as we have any more information uh, or it's cleared out or for whatever reason, we will let you know. OK, so please don't send us uh, saying I can't put my house number in or I can't uh, do this or whatever within those forms. OK, it's all been sent to corporate. They know about it and we will update you as soon as we have any more information back for it. That's all I got. OK, one more thing I forgot to say. Now, uh, we've almost got 10,000 people. Everyone that is working, Marty, let us go through this. Marty will go through it. He'll put it on the YouTubes and it'll be posted in the back office. And another thing. One of my biggest questions the last week was, Chris, I did a O-Connect. Uh, I don't, where do I find the recording? Marty DeGarmo is going to make a very good video. I seen one this morning explaining how you can recover your O-Connect you did for the recording. And that should work out itself. Hold on. Uh, and, and remember, guys, let's, let's not talk about money. I seen a few posts. This week's that we're promising this to this and early birds. Please, please stick to the process. Trust what Ash is doing. Uh, if it don't say it in your back office, I think we've said this about 30 trillion times. Don't don't say something that's not there. A lot of people speculate. They get all excited. They want to be the first to put it out. Please don't do that. That makes it hard on all of us. Only put out the correct information, what you see from your back office, what you hear from us three guys, uh, and what Ash Mafara says. He said it a couple of weeks ago, stick to what I'm saying. Don't add your spin. Don't add your flavor. Don't squeeze your own juice, as Red says. Uh, keep it to what it is. Make it promises that you nothing, know nothing about is not true. And when you do talk about money, that's not a good thing. That's not what we do. That'll come later. Trust me on that one. It's coming. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. I'm done. Okay. Oh, like a maniac. Um, yeah, the, uh, that's really important, by the way. If you have somebody, anybody, I don't care what country, mention dollars and how much and how soon, uh, report them. And say something to them. If you want to slow things down, start promising money like an MLM. We're not an MLM. Nobody promises money. You're going to be successful. How fast? Nobody knows that, but you're going to be successful. That's a plus already. You know you're going to be successful. Any other company, you don't know that. You know you're going to lose money. You know you're going to keep paying money. But you're in a company now where you're going to be successful. We don't need to hype things. If somebody's mentioning... You're going to get this much and this much time. Report them. We've gone way too long to tell people, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. I did it with my kids, right? These are full-grown people. Tell them, 
If they do it, report them, really. I and mean, it's not being nasty. This company's bigger than any one individual, right? We all worked hard. We did our thing, and we didn't work near as hard as the company, but we stayed loyal. We did the right thing. And little stupid comments about money and how much you make. In fact, when you do start making money, never tell somebody how much you made. You don't do it now, would you? You don't go to people and say, yeah, that's how much I got in my bag. Don't do it. You can say to people, because of passive, I was able to do this or that. That's that's perfectly okay. Because of passive, I took a trip around the world with my family. Beautiful. And by the way, that's stronger than mentioning money because most people, when they hear money, they think it's a lie. Because in most cases, it is. But you say, I got this, I was able to buy this new car because of one pound, so I was able to pay off my debt, I was able to pay off school loans, whatever. That's cool. Don't do the other. It does. It's not good for you. It's not good for the company. Company has enough problems without us throwing a wrench in there and getting things mangled. It's just not, it's not a good idea. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Oh, and by the way, somebody asked, like Chris said, I make a recording. How do I go get it? How do I download uh, a video that I did in OConnect? It's very simple, okay? I made a little video, but it, it's I, you, I can give it to anybody that wants it, but it's very simple. Once you do it once or twice, it's pizza cake. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for being here. I haven't heard. Let me double check. Yeah, nothing from Mr. Mufara. Doesn't mean he wouldn't come on in 20 minutes and we got to do the make a link. That could happen anytime, guys. It doesn't have to happen on um, 360. But I appreciate everybody coming. Like I said, we almost have a full house. And uh, we're going to be looking for you to shine the light on you. And any news, any big news that directly affects you will be in the update section, like the one that was there last night. And like Red said, that little glitch, when you put all your information in, and I put my street address, it says, you can't have these certain characters. It says it to everybody. You don't need to put support in. I sent a video of how what's happening, and I sent it. Everyone knows. Everyone. It'll be taken care of. Anyway, I'll see you all. Anybody else got anything else? Say goodbye, Chris. Goodbye, Chris. Chris, and I want to say real quick, because Niraj just asked me a question, I'm sorry, about, uh, Red talked about it, about the foundation date. Scrap it. It doesn't mean anything. It's not important. Remember the date when we go live? Because that will be the original, the only one, boom. There, there, there is no uh, official <laughs> anniversary date, so let it go, yeah. no matter what anybody tells you. There was different phases of starting, but there is no, we'll, we'll have a good date probably when things get moving really well. Anyway, thanks everybody. And we'll see you next week or tomorrow or oh, we'll see you when we see you. Six o'clock on Thursday, we're going to be doing another recording of Shine the Light on Others. Uh, that will be recorded and then Marty posts it at midnight or whatever he's going to post it. And you'll be able to see the recording. Big hit. Uh, people loved it, and we're gonna. We've done it with we've done it with Indians. It was an absolute success. We did it with women. We we're doing a hodgepodge of different people, different places. So it's very good. So and 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 one thing I want to say out in the open, uh, Jane, be ready. <laughs> anyway, see you all. Bye. <laughs> no.